Atlantic sturgeon is the largest fish in the Hudson River estuary, growing up to eight or even 10 feet long. It's also one of the most interesting. From this preserved juvenile sturgeon and this model of a small adult, we can see some wonderful adaptations. Bony scoots help protect the fish, and a long snout with sensory barbels help it find food. Atlantic sturgeon are anadromous. They hatch in the freshwater part of the estuary and then migrate downriver to spend most of their adult lives in coastal salt water. Mature sturgeon eventually return to the Hudson to spawn and start a new generation. Sturgeon have remarkable skeletons of both bone and cartilage, and this type of fish was swimming through prehistoric estuaries at the same time dinosaurs prowled the land. But nowadays, many sturgeon species across the globe are in trouble due to overfishing for their tasty meat and eggs called caviar. Atlantic sturgeon are endangered in the U.S., so there is no fishing for them here, but there is some important research and conservation going on right now. People have been catching sturgeon for a variety of reasons for millennia. Today, biologists use this pop-up satellite tag to study sturgeon habits and migration. Sturgeon that have been tagged in the freshwater Hudson River estuary in June, by January, have been found as far south as Georgia, as far north as the Bay of Fundy, or sometimes just off the Jersey Shore. Uh, my name is Amanda Higgs. I'm a fisheries biologist with the Hudson River Estuary Program. I grew up on the Hudson River. My parents always had a boat. We were out on the river all the time, and I, I love the river. So when I was able to start working on it, that was like really kind of really awesome. People should care about sturgeon because they're the largest fish in the Hudson River. They've been around since the time of the dinosaurs, and they're just an awesome fish. So when we go out to net for adult sturgeon, we are trying to catch whatever's here in the river. So sturgeon use the river to spawn, lay eggs, and when we go out, we try to catch the males and females that are here. We set our nets uh, when the water slows down, put them in, and wait about an hour, hour and a half, and then we start to uh, pull the nets in. Any fish that we catch, we try to uh, put a rope around its tail. So once the rope's around its tail, it's, we're able to control the fish and the fish can't swim off. So we catch them, we measure them, we weigh them, uh, and we put them back to go on to spawn. We don't want to uh, keep them or hurt them or anything, but just to get an idea of what's here uh, spawning. What I love most about my job is that we're trying to preserve the species for future generations. So uh, management and research helps us manage the fishery, but also our research part of our, my job is to learn more about why fish use the river and where they use it so we can help protect those areas so there can be some recovery of the species. 